magnitude 3.1 earthquake and large earthquake swarm west of Long Valley Caldera in Nevada volcanic field. It's a field of Nevada volcanoes, eight volcanoes, the closest one being Aurora Bodhi, just east of Long Valley Caldera. Let's take a look at the map so you can get a feeling of what has been going on after the 6.5 earthquake of March 15th. It seems like the quake swarms are increasing. We should keep in mind this magma map, west coast and east branch under Salt Lake, Yellowstone and Idaho as well. Here we are at Sizemore Berkeley and the blue is today's quakes. This is the 3.1 we're talking about, shallow of course. And if we go to the loading of the past week, all of them, you'll see the activity is very intense. There we go. And pulling in and again, this is the area that we're talking about. This is Long Valley Caldera right here. This is Ridgecrest right here. This is San Andreas Fault with all these quakes here. The Garlic Fault, as we can see here. Long Valley Caldera. And this is just across the border from California to Nevada. And you can see the tremendous amount. This is 3.1. The tremendous amount of earthquakes today alone and the past hour. Okay, you can see that there's hundreds of them there. And they seem to be increasing, going from uh, west to east. Okay, this is all the earthquakes in this past week, hundreds of them. And here we go again. This is our area. Okay, this is just sort of uh, east of Carson City. And going to our uh, tectonics. This is our earthquake area right here today. But this is basically the mono, mono lake. Let's go into the aerials so you can see it a lot better. Mono lake and the Indio craters. This is Long Valley Caldera right here. And this is the area of the earthquake swarms. And let's go to Volcano Discovery so we can see the map of the whole of Nevada, basically, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 volcanoes. Now, this is not the only area of volcanoes. We have volcanoes in uh, eight, 8 volcanoes just south of Salt Lake City, right here, uh, taking that map that imaginary fault line from Baja California. And this is Yellow, that's Salt Lake, this is Yellowstone Lake. And of course, another nine volcanoes uh, from east to west along Idaho. The 5.7 earthquake in Salt Lake City was March 18. About two weeks later, March 31st, towards April 1st, we had 6.5 in Idaho, and we still have earthquake swarms going on there. There's nine volcanoes here as we said from a previous uh, video we did, and eight volcanoes here, another eight volcanoes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine volcanoes. Sorry, nine volcanoes. Okay. Uh, the closest one is uh, Aurora Bodhi, Nevada. This one here. And basically we have this whole area of volcanoes right here. 6.5 here, 6.5, this is maybe a 15, uh, 6.5 here, 5.7 here. And um, we also had another, uh, just as a matter of interest, okay, this is, we'll talk about that later, but basically you can see the tremendous amount of earthquakes there. And we just had a 5.2 here as well, shallow, just uh, north of Vancouver Island in Cascadia. And this is um, an area which is very active. 
it's basically like a ship going back and forth, Vancouver Island. And this is the area of Bella Bella, Canada. This is Port Hardy, Bella Bella, Canada, where we have the 6.2. Uh, 13 hours before the 6.4 in uh, Ridgecrest, which was the foreshock to the 7.1 that we had on July 5th in Ridgecrest. Now, this is the area that I'm really worried about because it seems to be very active there. As you can see from just from today's quakes. Okay, this is basically the same magma that's under this whole area as we saw before from the maps. And this is the uh, Nevada volcanoes. The Aurora Bodhi volcanoes. Volcanic field in west central Nevada near the California border. North northeast of Mono Lake, my, that being, a, of course, the area of Long Valley Caldera. Well preserved cinder cones and lava flows of late Pliocene age. The most prominent feature, Aurora Crater, is a 25,000 years before present cinder cones surrounded by lava flows. Mud Spring Volcano is another late Pleistocene vent with a well, well preserved lava flow. Older volcanics of the field include Pliocene and ascetic lava domes and Pliocene cones, such as Beauty Peak and Mount Hicks. Okay. Lunar Crater. Zone of Volcanism. Field covering 300 square kilometers at the southern end of Pancake Ridge, Great Basin Desert, Nevada, containing numerous cinder cones and lava flows, fissures most visible, 150 meters deep lunar crater, background from late 1990 volcanoes of North America, the lunar crater volcanic field, middle to late Pliocene, continuation of the reveal range volcanic field immediately to the southwest. So, as you can understand, this is a very uh, extensive large Volcanic field. There's magma there, of course. So, this is our area. This is our area. And uh, all of you there, please be very careful because we have a lot of activity going on there. And obviously, there's a, an uptick of earthquakes there. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.